Hello everyone. Uh, last class we discussed about the role of kidneys. Okay. And suppose if there is any impairment for this particular organ. You understand what actually is the role? Kidney. Kidney is involved in the formation of urine. And finally, the elimination of unwanted things. Maybe drugs or whatever it may be. That has to be eliminated from our body system. Right? Suppose for example, if you took drugs, drugs in the sense tablets to overcome disorders that reaches your system and it relieves symptoms or diseases. And then afterwards, it should not accumulate in the system. Should eliminate from the system. Kidney in the form of urine, kidney takes this particular probe and it eliminates those things, unwanted things. Not only tablets, drugs and whatever it may be, even whatever we need or we don't want, those things are eliminating. Right? Suppose if there is any impairment for this particular organ. You can treat some minor symptoms and minor disorders and all those things you can treat. But if it is not possible to treat, then we can think whether it is possible to design the kidney artificially. So, in this regard, uh, some scientists uh, artificially created kidneys. Nowadays, you may be heard the concept of bionic kidney. That may be not in the, still it is in research site, still it is not 100% success, but uh, scientists are usually extensively they are working, they got to create bionic kidney. You may be heard bionic eye, right? Bionic eye, no problem, they implemented. Bionic ear, bionic arm. So, this concept. So, you people's, there is a lot of uh, scope is there. Tomorrow, you can create bionic things, bionic eye, bionic ear. You can improve. If it is already there, you can improve. So, a lot of scope is there to improve the things. No question of saturation. Bionic kidney is very, very important thing, but it is not that much easy. You should, on another side, you should understand the physiology of that particular organ, if organ also. It means, if you want to study, if you want to prepare bionic kidney, you have to understand the entire thing, aspects of kidney. I, sir, you want to understand the entire role of eye so that if you understand you can create artificial people are doing excellent extensive work okay let us take one example dialysis and electrodialysis and uh, what actually the role of dialysis and electrodialysis uh, in um, in purifying the blood we'll see okay the purification of blood is another aspects that is taken by uh, by kidney before that we will discuss disorders of the system when why we have to go for dialysis and electrolysis because it's some disorders are there to kidney in order to compensate this so what are the those disorders for example uremia accumulation of urea in blood due to malfunction of kidney that is referred as uremia urea should not accumulate in blood it is becomes toxic to the human system or body system not only human system animals in just we will mention it as an animal system organisms you, if it really accumulates in the blood, if it is not eliminated via kidney, it results in malfunction of kidney. It may be related to kidney failures. You already understand kidneys also we are mentioning it as in renal, renal organ, renal failure. Yes, kidney failure, renal failure, right? So, maybe uremia, maybe renal calculi, kidney stones formation. You see, you can measure, see this how kidney stone formation takes place. Just like same analogy to kidney stones size may be varies kidney stone formation right kidney stones are insoluble mass of crystallized salts oxalates present formed within the kidney it may result in impairment of kidney glomerulonephritis glomerulonephritis is the inflammation of glomeruli if any inflammation or if any damage takes place to the glomeruli organ say that already we discussed there is a part of a kidney right glomeruli and distal tubule main parts it is referred as glomerular nephritis, inflammation to glomeruli. See, why we have to go for dialysis? What before that? What is what do you mean by dialysis? Dialysis is nothing but one just one membrane. Just like you are filtering tea, coffee, right? That filters you can normal filters you are using. The same role, and you are using some filters, water filters, right? Same role here also dialysis. One membrane, membrane process where solutes molecular welds of less than 100 daltons diffuse from one side of the membrane feed side to the other side according to that concentration gradient. Concentration gradient you know molecules move from higher region to lower region. First application the, uh, in the uh, years the 70s, the first application of dialysis come into picture in 70s. After a lot of advancement is takes place, still people are doing. You are also having the scope 
to the improve the dialysis machine dialysis machine is nowadays available for lakhs of rupees you can reduce your cost you can reduce if you are able to reduce the cost even for 10000 that is an achievement what is there see here some people mention uh, develop a dialysis machine why not others because that person understand the lacuna general principles in dialysis machine includes separation between solutes is obtained as a result of differences in diffusion rates differences concentration gradient differences right Solutes, uh, the, if, if there is a concentration difference is there between one region to another region, movement will take place. Okay? These are these all arising from differences in molecular size and solubility. It means the resistance increases with increasing molecular weight. If you increase the molecular weight, it won't diffuse because that uh, membrane becomes a limiting factor. Right? Typical concentration profile of dialysis membrane with boundary layer resistance. You see here, A side weight less low molecular weight. And size the uh, intermediate size molecules B and colloidal C molecules moves from the region of higher concentration to lower concentration. That is one side is there. Say low molecular weight samples move across freely because the because the membrane porosity. If the membrane is porous to all type, then all molecules moves. Usually the membranes are constructed in such a way that it is porous to some specific molecules because the blood. In blood, we don't want other vital nutrients like glucose and all those things. We want unwanted things. Unwanted things usually much more molecular weight compared to blood fluid. So, they are constructed in dialysis machine that membrane in a such a way that it filters only the unwanted things. Right? Very simple common principle. But you will see only few people, only one person, only some persons uh, did this particular work. In order to obtain a high flux, the membrane should be as thin as possible. See here, schematic drawing of the dialysis process. In dialysis, another important concept, dialysis, the removal of metal ion is facilitated by the addition of chelating agent, EDTA they are adding, ethylene diamino, tetrachlorosidic acid, they are adding as a metal ion to facilitate the process and is referred as chelating agent. And in separation principle in diffusion analysis, do not exclusion mechanism this principle is referred as the non exclusion mechanism means the, the question is as follows which one of the following is the separation principle in diffusion analysis so answer answer for this one is the non exclusion mechanism and then dialysis features membrane features it is homogeneous same thickness is around 10 to 100 micrometer Membrane materials, maybe many materials they are taking cellophone, cellulose, cellulose acetate, copolymer of ethylene vinyl alcohol and ethylene vinyl acetate. Membrane application, optimum between diffusion rate and swelling. See, the futures of dialysis membranes. You can take any other materials. If it is good than these materials, membrane materials, you can select. Application. See, if you are using this, uh, you know, membrane, in order to purify blood, then that is referred as hemodialysis. Okay. Technique therapy treatment of patients with renal failures, if you are using the technique, is called hemodialysis and attempts to mimic the action of the nephron of the kidney in the separation of low molecular weight cells such as urea and creatine. You have to separate, there is a need to separate urea and creatine. These are the dangerous products. So, from the blood of patients with chronic uremia. And then thickness of the diffusion dialysis membrane usually in the range of 100 to 500 micrometer. It is not done. During dialysis, why, why the diffusion membrane does swell? Why, why it swells? Because to reduce diffusive resistance is there. To reduce diffusive resistance, the diffusion membrane swells sometimes. And then the membrane model, whatever they are used in the hemodialysis unit, that is referred as hollow fiber. Hollow fiber. These important features, please remember. And then this one is dialysis machine. See, uh, blood is one side. See here, pump head two, pump head one. In pump head one, that they are taking blood from patient. Okay, blood is taking, and then there it is followed. It is uh, uh, proceed to the filtration unit or dialysis unit. Where in dialysis unit, it's filtered, and then through blood uh, pump head two, once again it reaches to the person. Means blood is drawn to this machine where it gets purified and then once again it is injected back to the person, the patient. Very simple concept. See here, but the, whatever the uh, pump head 2, pump head 1, whatever the designs they used and all those things, these are all the designs designed by engineers, not medical people. Sir, what we have to do, sir, this is medical field. No, 
Who designed these things? Doctors? Physicians? No. Engineers only design. Biomedical engineers are there. And not only biomedical engineers, it's the mechanical. Many people created this one. See, monitoring and all those things, software you need. Who designed software papers only? So, we have to understand this black enough. And not only this one, this is just examples we are giving. So many examples are there where your contribution is required in future. Right? See this beautiful black. This pump head and pump head 2. Filter system is there. Filter system. See, looks like complicated. What is there in the principle? The principle is very, very simple. It, try, it filters the blood. It uh, avoids urea, urea and creatine, non-unwanted materials. And then urea and creatine are separated. And it is collected at, in the machine. And then purified blood once again reinserted into the person, patient. And then another concept is electrodialysis. If you are using electrical application, current electrical application, then it is referred as dialysis is referred as electrodialysis. Ion permeable membrane, where you are creating anion and cation in that system. See, electrodialysis is a membrane process in which ions are transported through ion permeable membrane from one solution to another under the influence of electric potential gradient. Creation of electrical potential gradient is needed. First applicable application in the 30s, 30s started, see, see it works in electrical potential gradient. You are creating electrical potential gradient, right? General principles include, again, anionic and cationic charge you have to create, that you need to create. Ions are attracted to electrodes with an opposite electric charge. So, the molecules may be attracted, unwanted molecules attract towards that particular charge that you have to create, right? And, and uh, if you look the properties of this electrodiasis membrane, non-porous sheets of ion exchange resins and other polymers, polymers they are using in order to create ion permeable membranes. Thickness is 100 to 500 micrometer. Divide it may be anion exchange or cation exchange. Anion positively charged groups, examples they are given and negatively charged groups in case of cation. Sulfonic or carboxylic acid groups, sulfate groups. At the bottom you are observing this image. See these are things, membranes they are used in electro electrodialysis. Chemically attached to polymer chains. Sterines sometimes they are using. It may be homogeneous or it may be heterogeneous. The sheet you observe in that picture. And not only for this one, hemodialysis they are using. This electrodiasis application C, where actually they are using food products, nitrate from drinking water, boiled feed water, rinse water, effluent streams, blood plasma, sugar and molasses, to separate amino acids, to separate potassium tartrate from wine, to separate fiber reactive dyes, see here, reduce electrolyte contents. In order to separate some molecules, so many areas are there, there is a need to separate, purify the things. You can purify the things by using the application of electrolysis. Here in dialysis, sir, what, what we have to do? You have to separate blood from creatine and urea. Urea, right? urea is toxic to system. Creatine is toxic to system. So you can adopt electrodialysis machine. Electrodialysis is applicable for some other thing, some other application also is there. And then where the simple thing is, if you if you don't you don't want some unwanted things are there, you don't want that one. You can separate unwanted things from desired things. Okay, electrodialysis machine, Pur purify NaCl from seawater. In seawater, you don't want NaCl, right? See, in Saudi, you should see, uh, suppose you just think if the, if the technology, if they are not developed, the people who are residing in Saudi, uh, Gulf countries, they won't get uh, the potable water, right? They are, are able to, they are converted uh, seawater into potable water. The designs, you should see that is a very big designs. You can, you can you can also think in the Mangalore sea water. You can convert in a small machine design. You can create in a such a way that if you pour water into that small machine and you can get if you are able to get a very potable water, that is an achievement. That chances is there. That is a big achievement. Those things are not only that one. Like that, like millions, infinite numbers. There you can contribute your technology. Okay. And then in electrolysis, which gas is generated at the cathode? Very, very important. Remember, hydrogen gas is generated at the cathode. Oxygen gas is generated at the anode. How do you remember? Many times they ask this one in examination. Hydrogen is generated at the cathode, H C O A A O. A screenshot and all this. Now, this point, whatever I am discussing, you take, take, take screenshots or remember or note without forgetting. Pure NaCl can be obtained from electrolysis, right? 
Principal of electrical devices includes opposite charges attract each other. Protein hydrolytes on electrodialysis produce amino acids. See, uh, if you separate it, protein made up of amino acids in the sense house is made up of brick, right? Protein, the same type protein is made up of amino acids. You can separate amino acids. If you hit house, you will get internally you will get bricks. Same time, if you hit proteins, you will get amino acids. Thank you.